Okay, welcome back to part two of this video. I'm setting up your recall unit with your radio. Now, I've got the radio in close and the receiver in close, um, so you're probably going to get a lot of warnings going off, so please ignore them. Okie dokie. So, as you can see, I've set the recall unit up into a Panzer III turret. Um, locked it all in, as you can see. Now, let's see it in action. So there we go. How do we set that up? That's pretty easy to do. Shush. Okay, so what we what we do, remember, shush, remember when we used our, our servo, servo tester, we had it set to 100. So I have the servo connected to channel 7 on this, on this uh, receiver. So we go into our mixes. Okay, we'll just try and move that as far away as we can. Okay, and we go down to channel 7. I just hope if we can do this as quickly as possible. Okay, channel 7. It's just a one-line mix you need for your servo, uh, recall servo. So we enter there. Okay, so the source we want to make as full. I don't know how easy this is going to be for everyone to see. That means that we've got operation from... Plus 100 to minus 100 percent. We're going to set our weight to 100 percent, and most importantly, we come down here to the switch. Now, if you have your radio set, this is, this is one actually there. So you have that set to your Canon switch, which is TRN on on the 9XR. So you set your switch up, whatever switch you are for your Canon then the important factors are down here. Oops, I've gone way past. The slow up and slow down. Okay, now, when a barrel recoils, it doesn't recoil at the same amount both ways. So it's obviously a very fast uh, retraction and then a slow, well, a slower, go back to the firing position. So in our particular example, it's going to be a slow up back into the fire position. So you add, sorry, it's going to be a, a slow down back into the fire position. Okay, so we just add in a small value there. As you can see, I've got, um, I don't know if you can see it, I haven't got it highlighted, but it's 0.3. So we've got instant back and then a slightly slower forward. Now, if I was to increase that to something ridiculous, you'll see. So we've got 2.4. Instant back and then a very slow return. So you see, that's how you can adjust your return speed. Obviously, that's way too much. Or you can choose to have none. So up and back equal speeds. Okay. So it's up to you to do however you want to run that. I think in equal speeds, unequal speeds are the best, are most realistic. Okay. So that is that, that speed. Now, the next thing, probably the more important thing you need to do here after doing that is making sure that your servo doesn't go too far forward or too far back. So you've got to set your limits, and this will help protect your servo. You don't want it to be at 100 and constantly pushing against here. That will wear out the motor. And Similarly, you don't want this to go too far back because then you'll have a you know probably too much recoil distance or... You know, it might even pull the thing out. So we go into our limits, which on the 9XR here, every radio will have a limit section. We go to our, down to channel 7. Now, remember when we used our little checker here, we knew where the limits were. So I suggest, although we did set the program up at 100, I suggest that when you come to do your limits that you actually use a slightly lesser value. So mine's at minus 98. Remember we went to 150 was the right spot for it to stop. So converting that to this terminology, that is zero. So I've got that set to zero. So when we set up our limits like that, we make sure that we're not overextending our servo in any way. We'll extend the life of our servo and we'll also be able to get the correct amount of recoil distance. So there we go. That's how you use your radio to be setting up 
your recoil. Thank you.